Greetings fellow statistics warriors. What I'm going to show you how to do today is how to recode or transform a variable. Why would you want to recode a variable? Well first off you can only recode down. In other words you can only recode a higher level of measurement to a level of measurement. But many times one might say well why? Why would I do that? Well here's a good example. Within this data set, we have a body mass index percentage. And if I look at this data by doing a frequency distribution, script statistics freeze, oops, let's look at a bar chart for frequency distribution. Let's look at that. Just for an example. Well, we, we see, see a frequency distribution, but it, it's a little bit busy here. Now, perhaps for some of our study, we may only really be interested in whether the student is obese or not obese. Not specifically anywhere between either or. In other words, we want to categorize it. Well, this doesn't really give us categories, so this is a good example of why we might want to recode an interval level data, because that's what this is, interval level, into something more categorical or a lower level of measurement, nominal. Let's go back to our data. And we'll show you how to do that. We have body mass index, and I want to transform it. So transform, come down here into recode, and make sure that you select recode into different variables. You want a different variable. So that is you don't want to inadvertently inadvertently overwrite the original data. So either select by dragging and dropping or by simply clicking the arrow the variable that you want. Then again, body mass index. Give it a new name. I'm going to call it BMI PCT2. You could call it anything you want as long as it's a different name and as long as you can find that layer so give it a good label we're going to just simplify this and call it obese or not um, in any of the reports you print or anything where you go further along with the data that SPS puts out you could always change the label if you desire click change very nice it's a new variable name now you must specify the old and new values click all values I know by reading the study that the body mass index percentage of 95th percentile and above is classified as obese. So I click here value through the highest. Whoops. Type in 95, 95 value and above through the highest. We're going to assign that a value of 1. You can add the other value below 95, 95, and below lowest. I'm going to assign a value of zero. You could assign it as a value of two. It doesn't matter. I'm going to dichotomize this. It's a good practice to get into because um, I may need to use this later in a different different matter. But all that's important is that you remember that category of obese, which is 95 and above, is the number one. And category not obese, 95 and below, we assign the value of zero. Write that down if you can't remember when you do it on your own. Because it's important to get this straight. You're going to need it later. Hit continue. Hit OK. And some instructions that we gave SPSS to tell us that. Great. Very nice. Go back to your data. Where, oh, where did our variable go? It went to the bottom. This is a rather large set. See, there's over 210 variables, and in fact, over 16,000 cases. But here's our variable, BMI PCT2. Obese or not. First off, let's specify to SPSS that we are indeed measuring variables at the nominal level, categorical. Click that category button. Beautiful. And we need to specify our values under the values column right here. Click on the where it says no. Just click that box. Click on the three dots. It opens up a dialog. 
Now, I remember, or you can use your notes, that the value of 1 was assigned as obese. Type in the value, click Add. Value of 0 was not obese. Type that in. Click Add. Hit OK. Wonderful. I want to see this later. So in the interest of being organized, I want to drag it up top. Click on the number of the variable. Holding down your left click, drag, whoops, no one, all of them. Just click once and drag it up all the way up to the top. And I'm just going to drop it right underneath there. Now, let's see what that does. Let's do another frequency distribution with our nominal level data, categorized data. Analyze, descriptive statistics, frequency is what we want, a frequency distribution. Reset this. What we want to see now is the nominal level, obese or not. Click the button, look charts, select the bar chart. Frequency, I'd like to see percentages, it doesn't make a difference. For this purpose, it will later. Hit OK. This can be this busy table with the table that SPSS is generating. We've got frequencies of not obese and obese. Here's our descriptive statistics table, the frequency. It's our frequency table, and here is our frequency distribution within the um, category of obese or not, obese or not obese, the two categories now, and it's a little bit easier to see now. How much of our student population is obese and not obese? There you go. That is how you technically use SPSS to recode a variable, and this is why you might want to. It's easier, easier to see who's ob how many or the frequency of not obese and obese.